guys. So, oh, I am running errands right now. And I am going to get lip injections. Um. Okay, je vais Okay. Yeah, we oui, merci. My car is apparently snowed, so I'll be right back. There's a lot of snow. So I'm gonna go get uh, lip injections done. I made this appointment a while ago because the girl that Tony's, um, the girl that does Tony's lips, uh, she's a little more expensive than what I've paid in the past, but she was having a Valentine's Day special, so. I decided to go get it done. If I seem a little down, it's just because um, something kind of traumatic happened to me yesterday. I don't even know if I even want to like talk about it, but um, it was just like a really unexpected thing that happened to me. Um, it's nothing stupid like about drama or YouTubers. Like honestly, like. <laughs> I could care less about those things. Something happened with my body yesterday, um, which was a surprise for like a few reasons, um, but it's also just like kind of like a an emotional like experience. But um, right on the Boulevard de Carie. Oh, I should have had a Diet Coke, but I don't want. I'm okay. Uh, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm okay. Just like a little not shaken up because like I don't know like I, it's just weird like what happened was really weird and I know like people are gonna be like why are you even saying this and it's just like I don't know you guys have to realize that like there's people in real life who watch my videos sometimes maybe not for the best reasons it's traumatic for like any person it scares me for like a little bit of for a few reasons um but I'm gonna be okay and I made this appointment a while ago, so... Oh, fuck! I hate this thing! I, when I first got my car... When I first got my car, I thought that Apple CarPlay would be like the best thing in the world because it's like, oh, your phone mirrors on your screen. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It's so annoying. Like, if you're... If you have your phone plugged in and you're listening to like a podcast or music, if you open a text message, like... It reads, it stops the music and like reads the text message, which I guess like is good for some people, but for me it's not. Like even if you're like, if you're the driver, it's good, but if you're if you have your phone plugged in as a passenger, like it sucks. So I'm trying to figure out a way to turn off CarPlay on my phone on my car because I freaking hate it. But yeah, so I made the appointment yes, uh, not yesterday. I made it like a few weeks ago, um, and I put on self tan. Like yesterday was a really hard day, but last night like I put on self tanner. And I did my makeup today like I got like ready and I'm gonna go get my lips injected so I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be real upset about that because my lips really affect your life I'm just getting half of a syringe that's all I ever get it's perfect for what I want um, and I'm excited because the girl that my sister goes to she her results have always looked really really good whenever I go to a place for any service I don't say where I go unless I'm happy with the experience, not because I care about giving places free publicity or whatever. In my mind, like, I don't mind if you guys go to the same places I go to because that's, like, the places I recommend, but the last place that I got my lips done at, I hated the results all the time. I went there because my mom went there and uh, she had, like, good results, but my results with this woman were just awful. Like, I had this big bump in the middle of my lip and it wouldn't go away. It looked ridiculous. It looked like I had, like, ugh, it was so bad. And there's, I still have a bump on one of my like lips at the bottom, and like I actually went and got some of it dissolved because after like massaging it for so long, I think the last time I got my lips injected was in September. So I don't know, um, but I feel like they've completely dissolved. Um, last time the the lip injection lady wanted to do like half a Merville, half Juvederm, but a Merville dissolves so quickly. So we're gonna, I'm gonna tell her like I want to do Juvederm today. Um, just half of a syringe and I was looking at old videos like if you have like old videos like me um, <laughs> I 
it's kind of cool because like I can look back at old videos and sometimes I'll look at them and I'll be like oh my god like I looked so much prettier here or like I looked so much better at this time like what was I using what was I doing and whenever I look back at videos from when I had you know my first lip injections um, my first ever lip injections from a different lady I loved them um, and I still liked the way my lips looked with the second person the first time that I got them done but then the second time we were almost done and then she grabbed my the middle of my lip and injected like right here and it looked like I had like this freaking like lump in the middle of my lip when I get my hair done and I like the result like I'll tell you guys where I go but I just I wasn't a fan at all of my sister's lips when she went to that woman and my lips when when I went to her so I was like, um, I'm not gonna like recommend it just cause like, oh, I've been there. Like if you want, you can go. Like I would not feel comfortable recommending a place that I wasn't happy with. I just want a little bit of a natural plump. And I thought about canceling the appointment with everything that happened yesterday. Um, but I was like, they already took my credit card information if I didn't show up. And I'm like, so I might as well just show up Hey guys, so I'm on my way to work right now. My eyes are so sensitive to light, which is why I always wear sunglasses even when it's cloudy. My eyes are so sensitive, but like I'm just wearing glasses because I just want to like let my body like kind of relax. So I'm on my way to the office now and I actually went and I got a car wash because I needed to stop for gas. But I was like, there's so much snow on my car. I'm so tired of it looking so bad that I just went and I got like the cheapest car wash just to like blast the snow off of the car. And it worked and people like my friends are like but it's raining and it's like gross outside I'm like I know but I was just so tired of it like even if it's just cuz I have a white car I wasn't gonna go to Starbucks but I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks um, I have a white car and it looks really bad in the winter so yeah oh uh, you guys haven't seen oh, <laughs> after my lip injections I know like I was like oh I'm gonna vlog after my lip injection so this is what they look like uh, and they are a little bit swollen, but like not really swollen. I'm really happy with them. I went to Dr. Genevieve Blackburn. She's like super nice. Um, honestly, like best experience getting my lips done. And you guys know, like if I don't like someone or if I don't like what they do, like I would not recommend her. I just wouldn't feel comfortable like sending you guys to someone for them to do like a shitty job, especially like I wouldn't feel comfortable sending you to someone that I didn't like what they did on myself. So uh, and I was actually in the waiting room like filling out the forms or whatever because it was my first time getting lip injections there. And I actually run into one, I ran into one of my viewers, like longtime viewers, Sarah. And um, it was so like funny because, oh fuck, I'm in like the middle of the road and it's yellow. It was just like so coincidental because um, Dr. Blackburn was having like a Valentine's Day promotion for like injections because normally half a syringe is like $400 like that's how much Tony paid. Sarah tagged me in like the promotion um, because you were supposed to like tag a friend like like it like whatever so she tagged me and I had been wanting to get my lips done for like a while but my boyfriend Mike like really doesn't like lip injections. I know most boyfriends don't like lip injections but I'm like oh, my lips like don't even look that different. It's just for a little bit like of a, like an oomph. I had my appointment on Valentine's Day on December on J uh, February 14th, and I wasn't. I was like, should I cancel? Should I postpone? But then I was like, oh, like I want to go, and especially like I just wanted like a pick me up. So I went, and I was in the waiting room, and Sarah was like, Allie, and like I recognized her because a few years ago when I had my meetup with. Mel Soldera like she came and like she always comments and is like super sweet and so I, I chatted with her for a little I should really I know you guys are always like get a Starbucks app like why don't you have it I do have one I used to be a gold card member but then I was like on my when I was saving for my boobs um I like didn't have I wonder if the new espresso blonde thing is good I want a cold drink though Hi, can I have a um, Trenta unsweetened passion fruit tea lemonade, please? If you guys are not getting venti cups of ice water when you're at Starbucks, you are not living life. I started doing that because I'm like, I'm paying fucking like $5 for a cup of iced tea lemonade. I don't drink it right away, but like even if the ice melts, it's still like good. And it's like a, it's like free filtered water. I, and I actually just bought a water bottle, so like it's pointless, but you can never have enough water. 
I'm really happy with how my lips turned out. I was really swollen. Okay, let me talk a little bit about my skin because I haven't really talked about skin in a while. I had that one glorious day where my skin was like beautiful. It was beautiful. It was in a vlog. I was like, I'm fresh faced, like no makeup, and my skin was beautiful. Then, poof, I got like like a outbreak on my chin again. And you guys are always super helpful. You're like, maybe it's like the way like where you sleep, like on this side. But I always sleep on this side, so it I like I, I thought that was a good idea. But then I was like, that makes no sense. So I know chin is hormone related which with everything that happened to me I kind of make sense why I would be having those outbreaks um now that everything is kind of like regulated um I think that maybe my skin will start to clear up but I did order this cleanser that I saw in Alexandria Garza's um like favorites it's by Glytone I'll link it down below but it's so great I used it last night and I used it this morning and my skin just feels so nice after using it you know I've been getting a lot of requests to do the dermaflash video I've been waiting for my hair to grow in so I'm walking around with a little bit of a mustache right now but I really wanted you guys to be able to see so that is coming soon I promise I had uh, two pimples and then I um have eczema um I have to go to the clinic for a few reasons but one of them being my eczema because I have like outbreaks all over my body which is really awful um but I had like an outbreak like right here and it was like it's really it was really gross like right near your lip I've been using that cleanser and for I did apply self tanner again I was just trying to pick myself up a little and I used um the tanceuticals mousse not sponsored they did send it to me but they sent it to me back in like October and I love it Wait, this isn't seem like a trenta I don't think it's right tastes good I don't think it's a trenta though uh so what was I talking about oh well, that person just came tearing out a like a bat out of hell so uh I was talking about my cleanser oh I have um I when I was younger like a kid I had really bad eczema. I can never figure out how to e eczema, eczema. I had really bad e eczema, and it was like really embarrassing for me as a kid. And I didn't suffer from it for a while, but I guess this winter uh, my skin is like kind of like freaking out. And so I have patches on my arms, and I also had a patch on my face. And so I need to get a cortisone cream, but I'm gonna go to the clinic tomorrow and uh, ask them what I should do. But I think my skin is finally gonna be under control, and the cleanser is so nice. It's like a gel cleanser and then it foams up like the most luxurious foam ever. So I had to search for where to get it in Canada. It's way easier in the US, but um, I had to search online for where to get it in Canada because everywhere like wasn't shipping or it was like crazy expensive shipping. So I'll link the store I got it from down below. So I really like it. Uh, what else can I talk about? Um, I have a lot of videos I want to film, but I just haven't been up to it this week So I'm sorry like if you don't like car vlogs like this vlog is really gonna be shitty for you Oh, okay. I was talking about the lip injection place So I thought I was so great because I found parking on the street and I checked to make sure like that I, You were allowed to be parking on the street obviously and there was no sign saying that you weren't allowed to park on the street um, And there was cars parked on the street as well. So I was like okay like I'm gonna park on the street I paid for my parking and then as I turn the corner I see like a tow truck and I'm like oh my god so I'm like okay I'm gonna play it cool and I'm just gonna get in my car and go so as I'm like walking around to my car this guy is like in front she's like madame is this your car and I was like yeah and he's like you're not allowed to park here I'm like what like it didn't say anywhere like there was no sign like I paid at the I paid the fucking meter like the meter let me pay for the parking spot so I was like, I paid the meter. And he's like, didn't you see a sign that it says you weren't allowed to park? I'm like, no, there were like a bunch of other cars parked here. Um, I guess there was a sign, but it was like buried or in the snow because someone hit it. So like, I never saw a sign that was like, no, you're not allowed to park here. Like, so I was like completely clueless. I guess he thought like, I, I guess he like felt like I was really genuine because I genuinely had no idea I wasn't allowed to park there. Like it looked like I paid the meter, like, I had no idea I wasn't able to park there. So he's like, <laughs> I was like, can I pay you? Like, can I pay you off? Like, I have, I have cash on me, so I'm like, can I pay you? Like, oh, it was such a mess. Um, but I guess he felt like I was really genuine and like with everything that was going on like that day, like I was gonna cry and like fall into his arms. But then he was like, um, I think the man already started writing the ticket, but go talk to him. So then I go up to this truck and it wasn't even the right truck. And he's like, no, ma like he laughed. He was like, no man, like the other car. So I went and he was like, 
um, I'm writing you a $50 ticket instead of a $180 ticket. And I was like, thank you, sir. Like, I was so thankful because, like, 180 is way better. I mean, I guess I could contest it because I have my parking ticket. I don't know. I guess I could contest it, but, like, it seems kind of stupid. But, I mean, I really genuinely, there was no parking. Like, there wasn't a sign that said no parking, like, when I was there. So I was driving home from work. And um, I remember that there's Baskin Robbins and I was like, you know what? You're an adult, so you are allowed to eat ice cream for lunch. Okay, that stupid eczema patch on my face, like it pops up, like, like it just absorbs makeup. It's so annoying. Valentine's Day was not the best, not because Mike didn't do stuff for me. He like actually made my Valentine's Day really great. I just didn't make his Valentine's Day great because of everything. Um, and I know that, like, it's annoying that I'm not saying what it is yet, but I just don't know, like, what I'm going to say about it. Normally, I'm, like, the biggest Valentine's Day person. Like, you guys didn't see this, but, like, for his birthday, I got, like, those big, like, letter balloons, and I wrote, like, Mike in it, and, like, all our past Valentine's Days, I've, like, made alcohol bouquets or, like, these, like, I've done a lot. Of, like, I normally do a lot for Valentine's Day. I just um, wasn't up to it. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna make dinner for him tonight. And I got this cute cake from <laughs> Baskin and Robbins. It's mint chocolate chip, which is my favorite ice cream flavor, but it was the only one they had that was like Valentine's Day themed. And I think I'm gonna make chicken cutlets with a lemon garlic orzo pasta side. If you guys know me, you know that I really don't have much of a sweet tooth. When it comes to like, junk food I'm all about salt I love salty food like give me french fries give me holy oh, traffic good thing I have an ice cream cone um uh oh there's like an accident um but ice cream is my weakness not like briars from the tub ice cream but like good like Hagen dazs or Ben and Jerry's ice cream oh my goodness what's going on um it's like my weakness. So I'm curious, like are you, do you guys have more of a salty tooth or do you have more of a sweet tooth? And what's your favorite, what's your favorite ice cream? My favorites depend on the brand. Um, Baskin Robbins, definitely mint chocolate chip or Jamocha almond fudge. Oh my God, there's like a bad accident. It was an elderly woman in like a snowbank. So what's your favorite ice cream? Hey guys, so it is Friday, it's around four. And um, I got home from work and I actually was at the clinic today um, just doing blood tests and um, just stuff for everything. But um, I wanted to tell you guys because if you watched my last vlog, I said that this is like the perfect candle to burn while you're cleaning. And honestly, it is. It's the Sugared Lemon Zest um, by Bath & Body Works. And it makes the room like smell so fresh. It kind of smells like Pledge. But it's just like, you know, like when you clean, you want it to smell like that. So this isn't a candle I'd burn all the time, but it's something that I just, I love for right now, like while I'm cleaning. Mike got me these roses for Valentine's Day and I put some of them in a mason jar because I just love flowers in mason jars. And I didn't get anything, but I finally brought home my pochette minty from the office because I left it there. Like once I got my little, um, once I got the little backpack, I like started using that. And I left the bag there, but I brought it home today. And I wanted to show you what else Mike got me for Valentine's Day because I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so this is not all for Mike, um, but I wanted to show you this. This is by T3 and it's their volumizing hot rollers. T3 sends me um, some of their tools, which is really awesome because I love their blow dryer and I love their straightener. And I think that hot rollers would be pretty cool because I have a lot of hair now. Um, my hair video is coming soon, but I have a lot of hair and I don't always feel like curling it. I just like like loose, like vo like voluminous waves. So I think this would be cool to put in um, occasionally and it looks really cool. I actually haven't taken it out. Maybe we'll take it out. Um, this watch is by Daniel Wellington and it is really, really cute. I got it. Well, they sent it, they offered to send me one and I thought like, Mike would like it way more than I do because he loves these sorts of leather watches. Um, and for Valentine's Day, they had these little charms, which were adorable. 
Mike got me this as part of my Valentine's Day present and you guys like this is my favorite. Um, Replica is one of my favorite by the Maison Mar Margiela. I don't know. Um, I love Replica. Like their scents are so good. During the summer I was all about beach walk because it's very nice for summer. But um, Tristan and I, like uh, one of my best friends, Tristan, if you guys are unfamiliar with my vlogs, we went into Sephora one day and we just started smelling all these perfumes. And I smelled by the fireplace because Rachel Whitehurst and her boyfriend, uh, Chris, I feel like they talked about this one. Um, but by the fireplace, honestly, it smells like, you know, when you're outside and you walk and you smell like someone burning like a bonfire, like that's what it smells like. It smells amazing. But okay, I've had this one since um, summer before I left for Greece. Look how much I use. And I use this like every day. So you really don't use a lot of it. And so I was like, I don't really want to spend $150 on it. And then I told Mike about it and he picked me up this set. And um, all of these three scents I really like. So by the fireplace is definitely like, if you like the smell of like a bonfire or whatever, I think it just smells delicious. And then it also comes with at the barbers and it comes with jazz club. I just am obsessed with this little set. So I was so happy um, that Mike got that for me. And then I know you guys have been asking like to see how I've been carrying this, but my life really hasn't been that interesting. Um, but I've been loving it. I think I'm going to go to Louis Vuitton on Sunday and did I say that weird on Sunday <laughs> and pick some stuff up? Well, just like one thing. And then I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, but um, I got a pair of shoes. Uh, these are by Adidas. I'll link them down below. Um, I have that nude pair. Uh, but this was the pair I actually originally wanted, and um, they're men's. Uh, <laughs> they don't make this color for women, uh, but they make it for youth boys. So I ordered them um, from Foot Locker in the U.S. and then shipped them to my best friend, Sierra, who lives in Massachusetts, and she shipped them to me. I just love, like, this color. I think it'll be so nice. Like, right now, it's looking very black and white, but in reality, it's a little bit more, like... It's kind of like the Louis Vuitton Damier Azor. Like, it looks gray and white, but it's kind of, like, bluish. I think these are going to be super cute. Um, I got 5.5 in the boys' youth. Um, my other ones are 6 youth. I probably... If you're in a if you're a seven and a half, I would go for a five and a half, um, in my opinion. This is what I'm having for breakfast on this Saturday morning. Um, I like to start off with a good breakfast that will keep me full because I know if I'm going to be with Mike, like, we might not be eating all the best things. Um, but we've been eating very well together lately, but I'm just have a serving of the Oikos Greek yogurt honey, uh, honey flavor. I'm going to just put this in a little bowl and then I cut up one kiwi, kiwi, one kiwi and a few blackberries because that's all I had left and I need to go fruit shopping. I eat a lot of fruit, so I go through it really fast. And then, um, I like to have two slices of turkey bacon. I just made them in the microwave. If you heard them, if you heard them cooking, um, I just like this because you get some protein, you get a little bit of that salty kick. For two slices, there's 70 calories, four grams of protein. And since I am keeping it pretty light with just like, you know, the one serving of yogurt and this fruit, um, I figured why not. And I also have a cup of coffee and then this like pea looking thing. This is my good girl moonshine. I made it a few hours before bed last night and I didn't end up finishing it. So I'm just finishing that off. It still tastes good, just not like really cold. This is what I'm having for breakfast. Um, I'm probably gonna eat the turkey bacon first. So I just have it resting on top of my bowl so I don't have to use another dish. And I will leave the calories. I'll add it all up and I'll leave the calories like somewhere on the screen. So it is Saturday and I, for some reason, was really adamant about wanting to go to the Eco Museum. I don't know, I've had kind of a really rough week and I just thought like being outside, getting some fresh air, seeing the animals, I was like, that sounds like a great idea. And then it turned out like to be perfect because today it's like plus five outside, which is crazy for Montreal weather. Um, so we're going to pick up Mike's friend Darren and he's going to come with us. Um, but. We have to kill some time and I needed to go to Walmart anyways to get some of like my household things like dishwasher things and um, what else? I need a garbage bag so might as well kill two birds with one stone. I'm wearing my Burberry rain boots today. I should probably talk about these in a video because I get so many questions about them and then carrying <laughs> Mike's watch. Do you like it? I'm carrying my bag. You know it's going to be a good day when Tim Hortons makes a really good coffee. Day waste. No time. Do you want any Valentine's Day discounting candy? No? Oh. Be careful, they're gonna think you're really mean. Okay, let's get those mini eggs. 
since that's what we want to fill it up with. Oh my god, do you guys remember this? When Blair Fowler did her first sponsored video and it was Aura Brush? Now they're selling it in Walmart. Whenever I look at deodorant, I always think of Dr. Dre because she always says that if you don't put deodorant on right after your shower, it's like a waste. Did you know that? Because it has to like sink into your pores. I'm. How nice does this lamp look? Wait, I just want to look at. <laughs> How nice is this lamp? Okay, good thing you're keeping me. If you're gonna vlog, you need an HR camera so people know your camera. I'm not going around the microphone. You wouldn't do that? No. Why not? Nature I'm shy. Like, and he's not even, like, we should get something like this. Are you okay? We should get something like that. But it's snow. time to think. Still got time to snow. I, I mean, I'm not saying we go home and assemble it today. But. Oh, look how cute these are. Could we put these outside, like on the, um, like one of, like one of these sorts of things? Like, would it work? Why not? Well, it would work. Like, we could hang it. In the summer, we can get a little like couch for outside and put like little lamps. Walmart actually has such nice stuff. <gasps> that is so cute. If you if you had like a backyard tropical theme, little gnomes. Oh. Look at that little bear with the honey. Oh, these are pretty. That's a nice mirror too. That's so we should get that for your mom for the cottage. Okay. Mike, this is the only dog you're getting right now. I need a shovel. So I can bury your body. Oh, that's nice. Imagine hitting something with this. Remember that video on That's Facebook? very desperate housewives. It is. Look, look at that. Oh, someone did. Martha first... Hoover? Yes. <laughs> Tony texted me to try this, and I actually really like it. It's the berry hibiscus refresher with coconut milk instead That's of water. Coke. Berry hibiscus refresher. Sorry. And of course, I got my... <laughs> my hates when I put my feet up, but um, of course I got my tub of ice water. Look how cute. I love otters. We're the only people without children. <laughs> We're outside, it's like an outside walkthrough zoo. I know you guys probably don't care that much. This is the great horned owl. And then, to you wanna go this well, way? get the map, bro. What are we doing with our I can't wait to see, look, doesn't that look like Bentley? It's so cute. Wait, Darren, repeat that so people don't get mad that I'm at a zoo. All the animals here were either born in captivity, orphaned, or rescued. All right. Oh my gosh, there's, see if we can find the Arctic. Oh. I don't think he's in here. He's dead. Oh, in memory of Gandalf. He's dead. Yeah. He passed the winter, na na na. He was diabetic. Huh? But, Aww. <laughs> but it's such a nice day. Today's like the perfect day to come. Well, we finally see animals. We just saw some. <laughs> <laughs> he's telling a funny joke. <laughs> Does that look like Ben? Now we're looking at the deers. Okay, so I asked Mike what he wanted for dinner. We were gonna go out for dinner, but then he said that the my Cajun sausage chicken pasta sounded good, and honestly, that's one of my favorite meals. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. I'm multitasking. I was posting our new Ariel choker online and then I was like, oh no, I have dinner on the stove. And there we go. Dinner is served. I just put a little bit of shaved Parmesan on top because it never hurt nobody. Um, honestly, I've made this with cream the first couple of times and I really don't think there's that big of a difference. So you might as well save some calories and use extra Parmesan cheese.